Hi, I'm Bob. Today, let's solve the problems in Chapter 6, the linear instrumental variables regression. The fundamental assumption of consistent OLS estimators is that the error term is not correlated with the explanatory variables. If this assumption fails, the OLS estimators are no longer consistent. The instrumental variables estimators are consistent under the relevance condition and the exogeneity condition. It means the instruments must be correlated with the endogenous variables, and the instruments must not be correlated with the error term. First, use the cd command to go to the folder you would like to store your files, and then use the log file to record everything you are going to do. The textbook used the 11th version of Stata, so I set version 11 to obtain the same results as in the textbook. Please download the dataset and then open it. We use the global macro x2 list to store the exogenous explanatory variables. We use describe and summarize to take a look at the information of those variables. The dependent variable is the log of the out-of-pocket expenditures on prescribed medications. The endogenous variable is the indicator for private health insurance. There are four potential instruments for this endogenous explanatory variable. In question one, we are using the firm size and whether the firm is a large operator with multiple locations as instruments. We use two-stage least square with the heteroscedasticity robust standard error option and store the results using estimate store command. Then we do the ORS and also store the result. And then use the estimates table command to compare the two stage least square estimates with OLS estimates. The OLS estimate for the effect of purchasing private insurance on the out of pocket expenditures on medications is positive, which is not correct because of reverse causality. Those people who expect to spend more on medications are more likely to purchase private insurance. We can test whether there is an endogeneity issue. We restore our two-stage least square model first, and then type the post-estimation command endogenous. We can also perform the dubin wu Hausmann test manually. We reject the lung hypothesis of exogenous variables. Next, we perform a test of OA identification. The test is implemented with the post estimation command OA ID. We do not reject the lung hypothesis and conclude that the OA identifying restriction is valid. We do the second question using optimal GMM. The GMM estimate for the endogenous variable is consistent with that from the two-stage least square. The dubin wu Hausmann test leads to rejection of the lung hypothesis and we conclude that the purchasing private insurance decision is endogenous. The OER identification test shows evidence that the uh, exogeneity condition of the instruments is met. In question 3, we use the limited information maximum likelihood estimator and the user written instrument variable regression command.
Then we use the estimate table to compare these four estimators. The estimates using the GMM estimator with the heteroscedasticity robust standard error are identical to those from the user written command. The differences between these estimators are negligible. Question 4 asks us to compare the two stage least square estimates as the four instruments are progressively added. We estimate the two stage least square one by one and store the results. The estimates only change slightly. We perform tests for weak instruments in question 5. The F statistic for drawing significance of instruments in the first stage regression is about 29 and we reject the long hypothesis of weak instruments.